Hey everyone, today we're doing a portrait photo shoot and camera review on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We're gonna get started, let's go to our shoot. I really like what these two columns look like. I kinda wanna get you in between both of them. So for this one, I'm gonna do like a full body shot to start with. Like that. So pretty. That dress looks so good on you. I really like it. Yeah, I'll get a little bit closer. The thing I'm most impressed about with this phone is the processing power. It was a really hot day, we were in the harsh sun, I had a screen recorder running, and I could still take as many photos as I wanted without the phone having to load or make me wait. I had the photo app set to highest quality instead of highest efficiency as well. But if you kind of like put your hands on your knees and kind of like look down at me and I'll shoot from like a down yeah. angle up. Oh, oh, it's like some pretty lens flares too. That looks cool with like the little bits of hair. <laughs> A cool one, if I shoot from this angle and you kind of like walk past me, we'll see like how it captures the movement. And then actually one here, if you kind of like spin around on the spot would look cool. Nice. Oh my God, it shoots so fast. I've like, just like burst shooting. It's got like the whole. Oh, it's so good. It's so crispy. <laughs> If you can kind of stand a little bit more in the sun, see how it goes when we're shooting backlit? Because in the shade, I feel like it's a lot easier for phones to get good, like overall tonal rendition, but in the sun, they might struggle a little bit more. So we'll get some kind of backlit photos here. I can airdrop these to you as well. You can have like a million Instagram <laughs> posts today. <laughs> I felt like the phone handled the bright light really well. The only time I found it struggling a little was during the backlit photos, where some of them were slightly out of focus due to the strong sun. We'll take a wide angle shot here because I love like all of this. It's really cool. Maybe if you stand just like in the middle. Whoa, the screen is so dim. I think it's just so hot. <laughs> Aside from that, I'm loving the quality of these photos. The colors are beautiful in the original unedited photos. They are sharp and they have lots of details as well. Yeah, I like, cause this is wide angle, kind of like big movements look really nice. You can see in the wide angle photos that they are not as crisp as the standard camera, but I do think they are still great quality and still handle the strong sunlight really well too. So these are all backlit wide angle shots and I want to do some harsh lit wide angle shots as well. So I think if you could sit like maybe on the edge and I'll be down here on the grass. You know, I can't see much on my screen, but I can see your highlight just like shining in the sun. <laughs> it's so pretty. While we're in the harsh sun, I want to take some photos at 2.5 times zoom with the normal camera. So these are really close up shots. Yeah, you can close your eyes if it's super bright. Maybe let me, I can frame it up and we'll count you in. Okay, one, two, three. Perfect. Oh, these little flowers are nice. Yeah, let's shoot with these. Maybe if you just stand here. So I'm gonna do some with portrait mode. Okay, so I'm gonna crop like around here. Okay, ready, one, two, three. I found that the portrait mode did a pretty good job of outlining my subject. You can see a few artifacts around Haley's hair the most, but I do like the final photos and how they look. The depth of field in portrait mode is really nice to melt away a busy background like what we had here and get your subject to stand out. So we're gonna do some video now. I've got it set to 4K and 30 frames per second and we're just on the standard one times no zoom camera. Wow, I feel like it looks super crisp on the back of the screen. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the incredible IBIS in the Pro Max. 
Even while I was moving around and walking, the footage was still perfectly smooth. It looks like I'm using a gimbal to film these shots. See the dynamic range here as well, because we're in the shade and then that side over there is really bright. And then do you want to step out into the sun as well? Yeah, let's get there. video is struggling a little bit with the super bright backlight. As soon as we move to the side, it looks really beautiful though. And then we'll try some video at 2.5 times zoom. So this is 4K, 30P and wide angle video. I also absolutely love the high quality video, how sharp it is and the colors are so, so beautiful as well. The footage I have here in this video is all straight out of the camera, by the way, there is no editing whatsoever. Well, let me do a 4K 60p one time zoom. I edited some of my favorite photos from this photo shoot on my free photo editing app, Digital Film, which is available for iOS and Android as well. If you guys wanna download it and try it, it's free to use. I'll leave a link down in the description below. That's cool. Last but not least for video, we have slow-mo. So the first one I'm gonna do is 240 frames. And I'm just gonna do one, like no zoom for these ones. And then we'll do one more at 120 frames. So now that we've tried the back camera. I also want to try the selfie camera as well. So I really love this jacaranda here in the background. It looks so beautiful on the ground. So I'm going to take a selfie. I want to try and get that in the shot because I like it. So we're in quite a shady location. I see a little bit of sun. So we'll do a shady selfie first. A <laughs> shady selfie. So this is the standard selfie camera. And we also have a slightly wider angle selfie camera as well. So I'll get a shot with that. So that's our standard selfie camera and this is the wide angle. And then we'll also try a shot with some direct sunlight on my face. I really love that we have the option between HD and 4K. Even, hi, when you're switched to selfie mode, you still get HD and 4K options with 24, 30 and 60 frames a second in 4K. That's a really, flattering angle of me and that phone just there. Um, so I want to try out the selfie camera with video. I feel like from what I can see in the phone, hey Dan, the colors are really beautiful. Even though it's quite cloudy where we are now, everything looks still quite vibrant in the shot. So there I am with a little bit more light on my face. I'll get some walking. We can also film selfie slow-mo. This is in HD and the only option we have is 120 frames a second. And there is no 4K option because there's none for the rear camera either. So I'll do like, I don't know, like a little spin around to you maybe. <laughs> Something that would look cool in slow-mo. <laughs> So something that I noticed is that the bucket on just the standard camera, so without portrait mode enabled, I'm just in normal photo mode at the one times lens. The bucket is like really incredible when you're taking a macro close-up shot and you've got something in the far distance like we have here, these trees. So I'll show you guys here. So if I put my camera next to these leaves and focus on the leaves, you can see in the background of the shot just how beautiful that bucket looks. And then if you tap on the background, it'll focus on the background instead. I just think that looks so nice. Would you believe that it was the calmest, non-windiest afternoon ever waiting for nighttime? And as soon as it got dark, this happened. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's nighttime and we're gonna be trying some low light photos on the iPhone. 
So when it's dark enough, you see this little night icon pop up and it's got, uh, it was one second at first when it was still kind of bright and then it's two seconds and now it's at three seconds. So I'm gonna just take a photo. Okay, so this one it took for five seconds. That looks so cool, like the motion blur of the water and the boat and stuff. So I'm gonna switch it to 2.5 and hit the shutter. I feel like because it's so windy, there, there are a lot of like moving elements in this shot, such as the boat, which will probably come out looking really blurry in the photo. The standard camera looks much better with the night exposure. I want to try one with the wide angle lens as well. So I got to get a bit closer to the water and hopefully we won't get in anyone's way. From just what I can see on the back of the phone, the standard camera looks the best for the long exposure shots. And then my second favorite I think would be the wide angle shots and then my least favorite, um, at least considering the, the movement of the water we have because of the wind, is the zoomed in shots. During blue hour, Dan and I took some photos of each other when it was quite dark. We had, I think, about a one or two second exposure for these portraits that I'm putting up on the screen. I feel like portrait mode doesn't look that good with the long exposure nighttime mode, but the standard camera, I think, looks pretty clean considering the, the low light situation that we were shooting with. Last but not least, we're gonna try out what the astrophotography looks like on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So we've come out to the countryside away from light pollution and I have the phone on a tripod. The first thing I wanna do is to just open up the camera app and take a photo while it's pointing at the sky and just to see what it does. So it looks okay. I feel like you can't see a lot of stars in the shot and the mountains in the shot are very blurry as well. Next thing I wanna do is actually play around with the settings a little bit more. So this time I'm gonna open up the night sight feature and I wanna have the maximum exposure time, which is 30 seconds. To the side here, we have a sneaky Pixel 5 set up on a tripod next to the iPhone pointing in the exact same direction. I wanna take a reference photo for you guys to see them side by side to see the differences. The Pixel 5 does take three to four minutes to take the nighttime exposure of the stars. So from our 10 second to 30 second exposure, you can see a lot more stars in 30 seconds. I do feel like the overall image looks super bright though. So the next thing that I wanna try is using our exposure compensation dial here. I'm gonna switch it down to minus one. I feel like with the exposure compensation brought down a little bit, the overall image straight out of the camera looks really a lot nicer because it's a bit more dramatic with the darker skies and the brighter stars rather than the sky being super bright. Also gonna try a wide angle long exposure as well. That one looks okay. <laughs> it's a bit grainy. I feel like the Pixel 5 is a long wait, but it's worth the wait <laughs> for the astrophoto. I love that on the Pixel 5, the sky is a really nice even tone. And I also like that you can still see a lot of detail in the foreground of like the hills that we have in this shot. That's all I have for today's photo shoot and review on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I'd love to know what you guys think of the photos and the photo shoot down in the comments below. And also let me know if there's any other iPhone or Pixel 5 videos that you guys wanna see as I would love to make more. These are really, really fun to make. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.